Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last lecture, we covered n-dimensional arrays. And today we are gonna learn about array indexing. So let's get started. So the first question that arises in our mind is, what is array indexing? So array indexing is nothing but accessing an array element. Now, how can we access an array element? The answer is pretty simple, by referring to its index number. Indexes start from zero. The first element is stored at the index zero. The second element is stored at index one and so on. That nth element is stored as index n minus one. Now let's see how can we do indexing in arrays of different dimension. So let's first access array element for a 1D array. So we just simply need to write print array name and we have to write the index that is A. In 2D array it will be print A comma B because we have two parameters row and column. Similarly, in a 3D array, which is a third order tensor, we need to pass three parameters. And in general, in an ND array or N dimensional array, we have to pass N parameters as array index to print or access the element. Now let's move on to the coding part. So I have opened my terminal. Let me just write python3 and hit enter. Now import numpy as np, hit enter. And now I'm gonna create a 1D array. So let's start with 1D array. So arr or array name 1 is equal to np dot array and I'm gonna pass a Python list to it so let it be 2 comma 3 comma 1 comma 5 comma 3 comma 2 comma 6 and hit enter so we have successfully created a 1d array now let's print an element or access an element so I'm gonna access the element at index zero, but I made an error. Instead of passing ARR one, I passed ARR, which is not defined. So I'm gonna do it again. Print ARR one of zero and the last element ARR one six. So element at first index is two and the element at six index is six. So I can also perform algebraic operations while printing. Let me just show you. So I'm gonna write print ARR one index five into ARR one and index, let it be two. So it will show the multiplication of elements as these two index so element at index 5 is 2 and element at index 2 is 1 should it display the result 2 similarly we can perform subtraction so arr 1 element at index 3 minus element at index 1. Sorry, I made an error again. Let me just correct it. So the answer is 2. So let's move on to a 2D array. Let me just create a 2D array. So I'm going to write ARR2 is equal to np.array and this time I'm gonna pass what 
1d array as its element so let it be 1 comma 2 comma 3 dot comma 4 bracket close 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 bracket close so i'm gonna print the second element in first in second row so guys am i doing it right i have done it wrong please try to be careful because this is the wrong index i want to access some other element but i have passed some other index now this index 0 comma 1 it represents the first the second element in first row and not the second element in second row so please be careful because you can also do these kind of mistakes and i'm trying to help you rectify those mistakes so the element that i have actually printed was It was the first element. No, it was not the first element. It was the second element in first row. So guys, please try to be careful. This is the most common mistake that we do while indexing. I'm showing you this because I have seen a lot of people making these kind of mistakes even in engineering second year and third year this is a very common mistake so please try to be more careful and write the indexes correctly so second element in second row So I'm gonna pass one one this time and it is six. Now should we move on to a 3D array? Let's move on to a 3D array. So I'm just gonna create a 3D array. Come on guys, I'm just joking. I'm not gonna create a 3D array. Instead, I'm gonna give you an assignment that is create a 3D array yourself. We have discussed how to create a 3D array and now you have to create a 3D array and access the first element In 3d array so in today's lecture we covered array indexing indexing in 1d array indexing in 2d array and I also gave you an assignment to do indexing in a 3d array that's all for today this video is brought to you by programming knowledge please like comment share subscribe for updates and stay tuned with us for more lectures. Bye.